question 6a if the second term of a geometric progression is 6 and the fourth term is 54 find roman figure 1 first term roman figure 2 fifth term solution you must understand that whenever the first term a and the common ratio arrow of a given geometric progression are unknown it always leads to system of non-linear equation we go by the nth term formula from the question the second term t sub 2 is equal to 6 at this point n is equal to 2 now if you replace n with 2 you have this result in the n term now the second term is 6 equal to a arrow from here 2 minus 1 is 1 you can call that equation 1 from the same question the fourth term t sub 4 is equal to 54 at this point n is equal to 4 so in the nth term formula you replace n with 4 t sub 4 is 54 equal to a arrow cube you can call that equation 2 to continue you cannot solve both equations simultaneously because they are not linear so you need to divide equation 2 by 1 equation 2 by 1 because we are considering the highest power of arrow and it is found in equation 2 so let's divide equation 2 by 1 so you divide side by side this is the left hand side of equation 2 by the left hand side of equation 1 right hand side of equation 2 divide by right hand side of equation 1 that leads to 9 equal to r squared if you cancel a from the expression to get arrow you take the square root of both sides and arrow is equal to square root of 9 and that is 3 to get a which is the first term you need to substitute arrow value into equation 1 or equation 2 because equation 1 is simpler let's go by equation 1 this is equation 1 you replace arrow with 3 so you have 6 equal to 3a to get a divide both side by 3 so a is equal to 6 over 3 equal to 2 therefore my figure 1 first term denoted by a is equal to 2 Roman figure 2 you are asked to find the fifth term the fifth term t sub 5 is equal to a arrow power n minus 1 previously a is equal to 2 the common ratio is 3 and n is 5 because the fifth term at that term n is 5 so the fifth term t sub 5 is equal to first term 2 times common ratio 3 to the power of 5 minus 1 that simplifies to this and you have 2 times 81 equal to 162 as the fifth term of the geometric progression question 6b in a school of 160 pupils 75 half pencils 85 sorry 87 half pens and 93 half rulers 25 have both pencils and pens 30 have both pencils and rulers while 47 have both pencils 
and rulers. Each pupil has at least one of the three items. Roman figure one, draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the information. Roman figure two, how many pupils have pencils only? Solution, let us define the subset for easy writing. Let A equal to number of students with pencils, B number of, sorry, pupils, number of pupils with pens, C number of pupils with rulers. From the question, total number of pupils, that is the universal set or the union of the three subset, you have 160. Number of pupils with pencils are 75. Number of pupils with pens, 85. Sorry, 87. Number of pupils with ruler, 93. Now, both pencils and pens, 25. Both pencils and rulers, 30. Both pens and rulers, 47. The intersect that is what the, the item the pupils have in common, that is, intersection is unknown. Let's denote that with S. So this is the Venn diagram. The rectangle denotes universal set. You have three subsets. Now, this is the intersection. This is the intersection. Then you have to compute 25 minus S. You know, those that have pencils and pens, they are 25. And this S you have here is also part of that region. So only pencils and pens becomes 25 minus S. Here, only pencils and ruler 30 minus S. And only pens and rulers 47 minus S. Let us get the remaining part of the Venn diagram. I'm doing this step by step so that you can understand it with ease. Now, let's get only A. That is this part now. Just this part alone. Now, those pupils with pencils, they are 75. To get only A, you have to add this this together and subtract it from 75. That is what you have here. That simplifies to this. If you open the bracket with a minus sign, you have this result and that is 20 plus S. Now, let's get only B, just this part. Those that have pens are 87. For only pens, you have to add these three parts, parts of pencils, and subtract it from 87 to get just this part, only pens. That is what you have here. That simplifies to this. If you open the bracket with the minus sign, you have this result, and that is 15 plus S. Only C, that is ruler just this part as usual you add these three parts together subtract it from 93 that is what you have here that simplifies to this if you open the bracket with the minus sign you have this results and that is 16 plus s we need to update the diagram the venn diagram with this information at this point you have the complete venn diagram that is roman figure one 
Remember figure 2, you are asked to find the number of pupils with pencils only that is this place 20 plus s now s is needed and it is obtained as follows to get s you add everything in the universal set and equate it to 160 degrees so you start from this plus this plus this then you come here plus the intersection the respective intersection of the two items plus the intersection of the three items you equate it to 160 if you add the the numbers and cancel out the terms that need to go you are left with 153 plus s equal to 160 if you collect like terms you have s equal to 160 minus 153 and that is 7 therefore pencils only is equal to 20 plus 7 and that is 27 pupils have pencils only